Hello guys, today we will be talking about Wiltipole sheep. The Wiltipole is a breed of polled domestic sheep that was developed in Australia from Wiltshire horn sheep with the infusion of Border Leicester, Perendale, Pole Dorset, and Pole Merino genetics that are raised for meat. The polled variety of the Wiltshire horn sheep was developed in Australia to create a polled easy care Wiltshire horn sheep suitable for heavy lamb production. In 1996, the breed association was formed, and it has expanded rapidly. Wilty poles are large, easy care, plain bodied sheep that shed their wool annually. They do not require crutching or shearing and do not suffer readily from fly strike, which makes them a useful breed for small holdings without shearing sheds. These sheep must have at least 96% wheelchair horn genetics to completely shed their fleece annually. The ewes are seasonal breeders, but are good mothers, have high fertility with a high percentage of multiple births. Wiltipole sheep weigh between 65 to 125 kilograms to 176 pounds under reasonable conditions. Wiltipole sheep shed their wool annually in spring to summer and produce lean, heavy lambs. They are a polled breed no horns bred for the production of prime lamb. The wool is simply shed and falls to the ground. The breed is, therefore, very low maintenance as it has no need for shearing, crutching, mulesing, jetting, dipping, and docking of tails. The Wildepole is grass seed resistant and fly and lice resistant, reducing the need for chemicals or the painful practice of mulesing. All this equates to less expense and less work. Wildepoles have a high lambing percentage of 130 to 180 percent and good maternal instincts. They are renowned for twins and triplets. This requires fewer ewes to manage and feed with more prime lamb to sell. They produce prime lambs without laying down fat, thus producing a very lean, high quality meat. As the wiltipole are pulled, the sheep are easier to handle and less bruising occurs. Wiltipoles ideally suit small acreage holders and also those farmers who cannot continue with the workload associated with wool breeds. This breed is very hardy and can survive on rough, scrubby feed. Thanks for watching please like subscribe and comment.